In the Kenyan village of Nimware, near Locust Package has been going nowhere. But as Watson Strogarts predict, just a single link can make a big difference. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 Neoloka's Aunt Margaret has come from Nairobi for a visit. She's the link to the outside world. Like to meet Margaret. Welcome. Come in. I've come to take your package. Thank you. I don't know anybody in Boston. I don't even know this Mark Videl. But I know somebody in New York. I know a lady called Didi Halleck. Hello, ma'am. It's express package from Kenya. From Kenya? Oh, it must be Margaret. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, ma'am. Oh, I'll have to open it. I was in Kenya uh, last summer working with Margaret Owino. I don't know any scientists in Boston, but I do know Limin Mo, who lives in Cambridge. And she's an old friend, and I thought, her husband's some kind of scientist. I thought maybe if I send it to Lee Min, she could, she would also be able to somehow connect. A key part of the, the small world phenomenon, the six degrees effect, is that all of us know someone who has moved away and has now forged a link between us and, and geographically distant communities. They are shrinking not only their own connections, but all their neighborhoods and all the neighborhoods of neighborhoods, that, that random connection is bringing the whole world together, and it's happening all across the world with everybody. Watson Strogatz had a theory, but now they needed to prove it by studying real networks. The problem was, no one had thought it worth mapping any, except one. We don't normally associate Hollywood with the real world, but for the scientists it offered the first possibility of testing their ideas. More than a million actors have worked in Hollywood on half a million films. Here was a huge network of connections. In the mid-90s, some college students devised a trivia game based around the idea of linking every actor to just one star. Kevin Bacon. Rodney Dangerfield was in Caddyshack with Bill Murray, and Bill Murray was in She's Having a Baby with Kevin Bacon. Back then, Brett Chaden was a computer student with too much time on his hands, and he thought it would be fun to turn the Kevin Bacon game into a website. Welcome to the Oracle of Bacon at Virginia website. I wrote a program that would extract the path uh, from every actor or actress to Kevin Bacon. Before I knew it, uh, a lot of people were visiting and a couple of the uh, websites picked up on it and made it their pick of the week or whatever and that brought in a tremendous number of visitors. Abbott and Costello. Brett Chaden helped turn Kevin Bacon into a cult figure and the inspiration for a major scientific breakthrough. We had this silly idea in a way, why don't we use the Kevin Bacon network? the Hollywood Actor Network, because people kept saying to us when we would talk about Six Degrees that, oh yeah, that's the Six Degrees of Pe Kevin Bacon game that everyone was playing at that time. But we thought, well, actually, it's a scientifically serious thing. So we wrote to, to Brett and said, look, you know, we're doing research on networks and, and, you know, we think that you have this really interesting data and would you mind if we had it? Always well and to their astonishment, the Hollywood Network conformed precisely to the theory. A few random links shrunk the connections between a million actors. The model worked almost perfectly. There was an incredibly high level of clustering. But it was also the case that everyone could reach everyone uh, through just a few steps. Hey, I am the center of the universe. Kevin Bacon, great as an actor as he is, was not that special in the role that he played in the network. That is, if you looked at any two actors, the typical number of steps between them people you've never heard of, was about somewhere between three and four. Without even knowing it, Kevin Bacon had inspired the first real evidence that small worlds existed. 
Can I write a check for this? I just need to see some ID. Hold that thought. Judas, hi. Come on. Okay, so I was in a movie with an The Oracle of Kevin Bacon was a social network entirely based on human connections. You recently removed the appendix of him who dumped you sophomore year. So you see, we're practically brothers. But to prove their theory was universal, Watson Strogarts needed to find small worlds in networks without people. Tests have proven the great power system ready for transmission. Here was the perfect example to test their theory. America's massive power grid with enough high voltage cables to reach the moon. It's been described as the world's largest machine. So it was a kind of a, an organism that grew itself. The grid is the result of thousands of random events as new generators and cables were added to meet the growing demands of America's industry and population. We found that it too was a small world, that even though it had 5,000 power plants over half a continent of area, it only took a very few hops to get from any one to any other. We thought, okay, you know, let's be ambitious here. Let's think about, you know, completely different kinds of networks. I had heard that every neuron in your brain is just a few synapses away from every other neuron. But we were now in a position to be able to prove that that really was right. There is only one nervous system that has been fully mapped. The nervous system of a worm called C. elegans. And that, we found, was a small world also. We found the same kind of result, short path lengths, high clustering. It was like time to uncork the champagne for both of us. It was very, very thrilling. They'd uncovered the invisible links that make the big world small. Watson Strogatz showed us a new view of the world in which distance vanishes. What goes around comes around faster than you think. Tokyo photographer Kenji Maeji is the second link in a chain. He's received a package from Australia and, paradoxically, he plans to send it back in order to get it closer to Boston. I don't think it would be easy, but I decided to send it to my eldest brother. Uh, his name is Nobuyoshi. He lives in Brisbane. Uh, he's a scientist, uh, so I figured he'd know a lot more scientific people than I would. And he's got a lot of contacts in the United States as well. Hey, got to say. Most of our packages are on their way. In Germany, Jessica is following the progress of her package online. But many of the other chains are already broken. In Paris, the dancer Nadia 